Hey YouTube, this is Pawning Six Year Old, and I am here with a castle that I built for my bearded dragon, Rusty. As you know, dragons defend castles, so I thought, why not make a castle for him? Um, the reason I wanted to make a castle for him really was because I made this form, and if you can see, there's a bunch of white all around it, and that's from him scratching off all the styrofoam and the paint, and you can see the little pieces everywhere. Because I didn't put this stuff on it that I put on this one. This stuff is called sheetrock. You can get it at Lowe's or any like home improvement store or whatever. And it's really durable. And so I hear that instead of this. So you can majorly tell the difference even if it was on my phone. Pretty sure you can. So what I did was I started from the bottom and went to the top just like you would with anything else. And I don't have dimensions for it. I just kind of guessed and knew I couldn't go over four feet because that's as long as my cage is. I think it's about 20 by 8 or 13. So it's like 20 this way and 18 this way and the long part right over there. Um, I think he likes it so far. He's been exploring it, and I, I really hope he does. Um, the styrofoam I got isn't really like styrofoam like you're really used to. If you can see in that corner right here, you can see my finger right there. It's really not like styrofoam. It's this green stuff, and it's... They call it styrofoam, but it's this rough, really all like mesh wire, I guess plastic, all put together. So instead of the beads and that getting everywhere and sticking to you, which I had to deal with with the orange one over there, this was a lot easier to clean up, like a lot. Um, I thought it'd look cool with this design on it. So what I did is I started over here and then went around the whole thing like this and then whenever I got to here I stopped took my knife that I used to cut the uh, styrofoam and went down just in this area just like from to here and then I went sideways and did a bunch of lines like that and I tried to make them all uneven so they're not perfect squares like right here you could see it's a little thinner. Um, I made this in about a week's time. It wasn't too difficult. I mean, if this is the first time you're ever making anything for your lizard, I so would not recommend this. I'd recommend making something like this for a leopard gecko. It's a humid hide. Um, just It's like a dome with a hole so he can enter through and then a lid that has a little finger hole in the back that I just lift up or one of these which is made out of sheetrock. It's a, just a corner piece, the hole, and you could just see it. Um, this was really easy, except for the stairs, the front layer, but I didn't put sheetrock on it, so it's really noisy. Um, I enjoyed making this, and I hope you got an idea to make this for yourself, and if you do, I hope you enjoy making it too. If you need more information about this, um, you can either make a video response or comment, and I will either make another video showing you what I used and kind of how I did it. I'm not going to make a whole nother one just to show you how I did it. I don't have my video editor yet, so I can't skip from time to time. Um, so I'll just show you what, really what I did. You just cut glue and put toothpicks in there and just brush that sealant on. So, um, this is a Poning Six-Year-Old YouTube 